Hi everyone, Stefan here. I thought I'd quickly record a short tutorial on how to create your own realistic looking skin texture. So we're coming back to this image or an image of the absolutely gorgeous Mia. And when I look at this 100%, you see the focus is exactly on her eyes. In her skin, however, there could be a little bit more skin texture. When it's used small, it looks as if it's a little bit soft, even though it's actually not when you look at it in 100%. So how to create skin texture that looks realistic and most of all is reusable for different kind of images, different lighting scenarios and different sizes. So let's create our very own skin texture from scratch. I'll create a new document. 2000 by 2000 pixels. We create a new layer and fill this layer with 50% gray. Now to be able to change our settings and play around with it, the smartest way is to create a smart object. So now we have the ability to apply effects and change them down the track should we want to. So there's three filters that we want to apply. The first one, we need some noise. And let's start with an amount of 10, uniform and monochromatic. Next filter we need to blur this, and let's say we apply a Gaussian blur, or just the one pixel. And then the third one, we go into stylize, emboss, 45 degree angle, height of six and the amount of 60. So if I zoom in now, that looks pretty much like a skin texture. And we just leave it at that. Now, the beautiful thing is that we have all those different effects listed up. And at any given time, we can double click one of those and we can change them if we want to down the track. Now that we have this, let's save this file as it is, as a Photoshop file. And I just call it something like my skin texture. Save. So we can close this now. And we go back to our beautiful picture of Mia. So how to apply this texture? Well, it's actually really, really simple. We just duplicate the layer, go into filter, texture, texturizer. Within texturizer, you get those four pre-installed textures. However, we don't want any of those. We want our own, the one that we just created. So if you go to this little fly out menu here, you can load your own texture. So here we go. Here we have our skin texture that we just created. We hit load. Now you don't see anything because this file is very big. So let's move her into place. And instantly we can see how this texture is applied without the texture and with the texture. And if we look at her left side of her forehead in this area, that's without and that's with. It looks pretty convincing. Now, the beautiful thing about using Texturizer is that we still have the ability to change the scaling, the depth, and even the light direction. So in this case, the light comes from the right, so we're fine. But we can increase the depth and the scale if we want to. And that's beautiful because depending on the image that we're working on, we're closer or further away from a subject. So I'm just dialing something in that I believe looks halfway believable. And all I need to do now is click OK. Now this applies it to the entire image, ears, hair and everything. And that's, of course, not what we want. So the next step will be to create a layer mask and just brush it in where we actually want it. So in this case, I just want it here on the left side of her forehead up to where the hair begins, a little bit here, next to the nose, to here where we actually already have depth of field. But I just want to apply a little bit of that skin texture here. And that looks pretty good already. So let's look at the forehead, just this area here. That's without. And that's with. This is without. And that's with. 
If we find that this is a little bit too strong, we can always take the opacity down. This just adds this extra bit of texture and it took us hardly any time to produce. And the beautiful thing about using Texturizer this way is that next time you go into this filter, it will have remembered your custom texture that you created and you're up and running in a few seconds. So there you go. That's how you create your very own skin texture in near to no time. I hope that was helpful. Have an awesome weekend.